This is Rosetta. Dear sirs, have you come to this island seeking the Dragon God? If so, please turn back now. Due to the abnormal weather conditions, the fountain has run completely dry. This island, once called the Island of Springs, is desolate, as you now see. Yeah, these are fairies, if, if you hadn't guessed. Although we can fly, and we fairies aren't very strong, and we can't... What? Ow, my head hurts from just saying that. We fairies aren't very strong, and we can't fly too far. Oh, I apologize for the game's puns. I make bad enough ones as it is. It's a different story if we can catch the wind, but the wind is capricious, just like we are. Oh, you guys seem to be here a lot right now. Right. Oh, there's a little ramp. That's how I get up to talk to you. How are you doing? We fairies are born from the morning dewdrops of an aged tree. The large tree that stands in the center is like our fairy godmother. So fairies do puns that make me want to punch them in the face. That's, that's fairies. Can I climb this? Thank you. Something we get a little bit better of a layout here. Is there another thing that I want? I think... Yeah, there is another one. Just have to find... There it is. There it is, hiding in the corner. And in here we can find another piece of iron. Lots of iron. Which is good because we should probably start equipping people with iron things. But there's more fairies over here. We'll approach the glass looking thing in a bit. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? A small star fell into the sea of the Triplet Isles. But that was a long time ago. Okay. Why are you so excited about it then? The mist of the sea is an invitation to the dark, embracing the abysmal darkness where the lost souls gather. Thank you, depressing fairy. Why is it every once in a while somebody wants to depress me in this game? Like, eventually I get the feeling that I'll be fixing your problems here, but for the time being, there's this. And they're not going to let me do anything with it. Uh, this is the block of ice that they talked about before. Cast fireball at it, you say? What is this, Final Fantasy IX? I can't do that. So for the time being, we are done with Water Dragon Isle. So let's move on. And we will actually avoid any Scorpiods along the way. We took out all the ones that we need to for the time being. So let's head back to our boat. And let's head back to Termina. This time we'll actually try to dock. Can I dock? No, they're still going to dock me over there. They don't want me in the proper docks ever. I thought at one point I could do that. Maybe I'm wrong. Either way, we are going to head back to Termina. Actually, properly. And head up. I think you guys know where I'm going. We're going to head back over to the right here. And we're going to talk to the grandma. Because... It's 3 o'clock. Strange, that clock hasn't moved for ages. <gasps> Look who's here! It's Skelly! I'm home! That, that voice, could that be you? Somehow his voice is the same. It's me, Skelly! I've come back home! S Skelly? Oh, Skelly, come over here and let me hug you. Grandma! Skelly! Hmm? Skelly, why are you so thin? Haven't you been eating well? Grandma, I don't know how to break this to you, but... It's alright, it's alright, Skelly. I'm just so happy that you were back. It must have been very hard on you. Don't leave again, Skelly. Oh, don't cry so much. My clothes are going to get all wet. I, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm so happy. You always told me don't hold back tears of joy. Skelly. Oh, um, I should probably get you out of that, uh, not so good looking angle, Skelly. Ah, uh, to have Skelly come back home to me. 
the gods must have answered my prayers. Oh, I think the heavens with all my soul. You have anything to say about all this? Skelly has a somewhat unique appearance. I'm so glad that he has come back. I've never seen Grandma so happy. You call her Grandma too? You cousins? Or what? Now, I believe I have to leave and then come back in. I believe that's all, like, uh, that's all I need to do. I don't believe there's any... Yeah, there we go. We'll talk to Grandma first. Ah, to have Skelly come back home to me. The gods must have answered my... Uh, yeah, you said that already. Yeah, you say the same thing. So, the only person with something new to say is Skelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks to you guys, I can hang with Grandma again. Ask me if there's anything I can help you with. There is. Skelly became the life of your party. Yeah, because he's, he's dead. So, Skelly has joined the party. Uh, Skelly, if I remember right, is not necessarily my favorite. I believe he is me. So we we'll kick Guile out again. Keep him, keep it, I keep on kicking him out and bringing him back in. Uh, so we'll kick him out for Skelly. And then we will take a look at Skelly. Skelly runs very well. Um, <laughs> I want to get him outside so we can take a look at him running. Because that might be one of my favorite things about him. Look at that run! How great is that? All right, let's take a look at Skelly. Skelly uh, doesn't have the best of stats. His HP is low, his strength is low, his resistance is fairly low, uh, his accuracy is low, his agility is kind of low. Uh, his magic is not bad, actually, and his magical resistance also not bad. Let's take a closer look at him. Uh, he has a stamina recovery of 10, so good. Uh, he is a skeleton clown. He's age 32. I don't know if that's the age when he died or that's how long he's been dead. Uh, I assume it's the age when he died. He is male, despite the fact that I said that he had a very feminine-looking pelvis. Although, to be honest, I've been staring at his crotch this whole time, and it looks male from this point of view. So, what do I know? He's 6'2". He weighs 51 pounds. Surprisingly, he's considered bony. And he does... Uh, primarily attack with his left hand. He uses a glove, and he does have iron, which is actually really nice, and I might take that off of him and give it to somebody else. Uh, he has iron glove and an iron, iron mail. Uh, you would think that since I went out of my way to get his body parts along the way, uh, that we, he would be more powerful that he, than he is. But, uh, there you go. In terms of his elements, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at... Juggler vein. Do you get it? Like, like your jugular vein, but he's a juggler. Uh, use special juggling balls to pound foes. I don't think I've ever seen that, and I look forward to actually using that. Uh, now, before I leave, I do want to head back to the fortune teller. I'm not going to bother putting the T for three frame on this time, but I want her to, to give a fortune telling or a fortune reading for Skelly. She keeps on asking who I am, as if anybody ever comes to her booth. Skelly! You're gonna get a rating. You, who has been revived from the edge of despair, must share your light with, of hope with all. Oh, I guess that's okay. Nothing all that spectacular. And uh, essentially, that's all we wanted to do here. I came here for Skelly. Uh, we are going to be going back to the blacksmith around here. Very nice blacksmith. The guy with portrait. Uh, he was up there. Uh, but before I do that, we're going to get another fight with Skelly. I I'm not going to bother changing his equipment or giving him elements. But uh, I'll meet you in the middle of the fight so that we can show off uh, his attacks and his tech. Skelly, you are up. Let's see what you can do. We're up against two bulbs. I'm back in the shadow forest. I feel like he's good enough to take him out because he's equipped with iron. Let's see what he can do. Oh, just a right jab, right punch. Oh, and he does a spin. Oh, look at that. That was quite nice. Uh, we didn't get to see number three, though. Let's just go for another slap. And then we will go for a juggler vein. This hits everybody. Use special juggling balls to pound your bows. Let's see your juggling skills, Skelly. Oh. 
and down they go. How awesome was that? 82 damage across the board for, for throwing balls at your enemies. I bet we get something? Yeah, we do. Every time I use them the first time, they get that little mini level up. Uh, we do get strength, resistance, and magic, so his magic is now equivalent to Surge. So Skelly is not bad. I might actually bring him along. Uh, I do want to show off his level 3, though, so his fierce attack. So let, let's uh, let's get into another fight so I can show that off. All right, I've got three enemies for him this time, and I just noticed the uh, arrow with a heart at the end hanging on the back of his jester's hat there. I, did, I don't think I noticed that one before. All right, let's see what a level... Ooh, we're actually going to have to switch to someone else on him because he might, he might kill him too soon. All right, we'll, we'll go to you. One... Then we do the kick instead of the, the spinny punch. And then three. There we go. And then we got to see number three. Uh, we'll do just enough so that Skelly can show off his tech again. Let's see if it still does uh, more damage if it's just one person. I, I think that it's standard across the board, but we'll see. Ninety-one. Ooh. That's kind of just high enough for me to think. No, because we increased his strength. So no, it is, it is the same throughout, and he gets a small little uh, HP gain as well. So, as best as I can tell, when there's an attack that hits everybody, but you only use it on one person, it still acts like it was hitting everybody. So it's not an increase in damage. Just for the record. But with that done. I'm probably going to be uh, keeping Skelly around. I actually like Skelly. I don't know. I, di I didn't think I liked him when I remember using him in the past, but this time I, I do like the way that he he moves, even though his number three is only against one person. So that's, that's going to be a thought for me. Do I want to have Skelly in the party or Guile? I don't like... Look at him spin his head. I don't like having multiple uh, party members with the same innate element color, though, so... It's either him or Guile. I'm going to have to make a choice here. I'll probably keep him just for just for the sake of, of using somebody different. But with that done, let me get off the screen so I don't get into a fight. They can come all the way over there. With that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Chrono Cross. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my ever-growing party of Serge, Guile, Lucia... Lucia Hashua, Macho, Glenn, Lena, Mojo, Neo, Fio, Greco, and Skelly. That is an ever-growing list. Uh, when we come back, we will uh, have properly equipped people, and we will be ready to head out to more islands. But for the time being, that is going to do it for these parts. Hope you have enjoyed them. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.